Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. It is one, my friends. I'm going to be testing the GeForce GTX 1660 Ti in 2022. Now, I actually tested the 1660 Ti back in March of 2021, but of course, many games have come out since then, so it's time for a revisit. And actually, a lot of you guys have requested the 1660 Ti to make a comeback here on a full-on Sunday video, so that's what we're going to do here today. We're going to test more mostly new games, but I'm also going to test out some older games that I tested in the previous video, but at 1080p resolution, because back in 2021 I actually tested most games at 1440p, and you know what, it actually did a pretty good job at 1440p back then, but these days with the newer titles... I think most people will have these with 1080p monitors, so I'll test like Red Dead Redemption 2 in this video as well, this time at 1080p resolution. Quick recap of the specs, 1536 CUDA cores, 6GB of GDDR6 memory, 192-bit memory bus, and the 120W TDP. It released 3 years ago in February of 2019 for 279 US dollars MSRP, and I can already see some sold listings on eBay uh, going for like 180, 200 euros, which is actually not too bad, right? It's well below MSRP, finally. <laughs> but let's see if the GTX 1660 Ti is still worth it in 2022, shall we? And it's desktop time, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti showing up then in MSI after burner along with the latest NVIDIA drivers 516.40 at the time of recording this video. I'm not overclocking the card, this is actually a factory OC model of it, and you can check out all of its specs here in Tech Power Up's GPU-Z. Over on the left, we're pairing it with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of RAM to avoid CPU or RAM bottlenecks and you should get around the same FPS if you pair it with like a Ryzen 5 5600 or even a slower CPU than that honestly because most games that we're testing here today are gonna be GPU intensive and the first game is Forza Horizon 5 we're playing it at the 1080p resolution of course using ultra settings it's the preset here didn't touch anything and oh that was close actually <laughs> let's start counting our FPS Yes, and let's go to the most intensive area, which is the big city uh, with the tunnel and stuff where the FPS dropped the most, of course. And so far, so good. Over in the desert area, which is not really that intensive, uh, but it is a little bit intensive using ultra settings, actually, because there is a ton of ambient occlusion and shadows around all of these bushes. It is doing a pretty good job. 1% lows are perfect. Absolutely fantastic. I couldn't ask for a better experience here right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna crash! Yep, oh, there we go. Okay, it actually dropped our in percent lows now. It's not perfect anymore, guys. And here we are, 60. Now, that is amazing. Whoa, wow. Th this, this GPU is incredible for Forza Horizon 5. It doesn't drop that much here in the city as well. Like, look at that. That's very impressive, actually. It's ultra settings at 1080p res, and this is a recent title. It's from 2021. Of course, super well optimized, so no wonder the 1660 Ti can do so well here. Uh, but yeah, if it doesn't drop at the end of this tunnel, I will be, like, super impressed. But it will. It definitely will. It's already in the lower 60s, and it drops into the lower 50s at times. But that's not a problem. It will only happen during the day, getting out of tunnels. So if you don't do that that often, and you probably won't, it's going to be a perfect experience here. 80 FPS average, 58 1% lows. Really nice, guys. And now it's Halo Infinite, and we're playing it at the 1080p resolution using 60 FPS minimum frame rate there, which does that. And we're playing on the high settings preset, as you can see. All right, let's do this, guys. Getting 60s at times. 1% lows are at 40-something, which is weird. Come on. Come on. Does it actually explode if I shoot the, the vehicle there? I, I don't even know, guys. I don't play Halo Infinite whatsoever. They got they got our flag already. Oh boy. Okay, wait. Wait. Come on. Let's go. Oh, two cars here already. What the heck? Actually, I'm gonna go with this pistol. I really like the pistols in this game. They work a little bit better than the actual gun itself. At least this one, in my opinion. They're more accurate and stuff. Where where are the enemies? There's one there. So it actually feels pretty smooth. Whoa, 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 Come over here. There we go. Oh, my. We actually exploded the car there. Ooh, what do we have here, guys? Where are the enemies? There it is. Come on. Come on. 
Get over here. Get over here. Nice. We got him. Uh oh, oh, uh oh. We're screwed now. Come on. Okay, we got one. No, no. What the hell is that weapon? You know what? I actually always feel a little bit sad when I'm playing this game because my name tag is crisp6879. Like, 68 is one number away from the perfect number and 79 is also one number away. If you think about it, if you went from 7 to 6, it would be 69. <laughs> Ah, anyways, anyways, well, let's let's just keep on doing this sort of few grenades there. Are we good? Wait, I can kill that guy probably from here. Maybe? No, probably not. Okay, wait a second. Uh, oh, that's that's the other guy with the um, the the base or whatever that is. <laughs> Hammer. All right. Well, I'm liking the experience actually. It's pretty smooth. If you really want like a high refresh rate experience, you can still have it at like 1080p medium or low setting. Time for some Cyberbug 2077 at 1080p using high settings, high textures. Just gonna disable motion blur there and that's it. FSR is turned off for now, high crowd density as well. All right, right around 60 FPS it seems like. That is... Uh, yeah, it's not terrible, but it's definitely not the greatest experience ever in Cyberbug. Hopefully FSR will actually put us above 60 FPS. I honestly was expecting a little bit more performance coming from this card, uh, but hey, this is not bad because Cyberbug is super, super intensive. Uh, yeah, it's getting, I mean, oh my gosh, it's dropping into the porties, guys. If you disable the FPS counter there, guys, I think it would actually be a pretty all right experience. Doesn't feel bad by any means. It's actually quite stable in that frame time graph. So it's, it's smooth. It's just not very high refresh rate, unfortunately. And there's Bob, by the way, Bob, goodbye. Just gonna get out of the car actually to kill Bob properly because it takes a really long time to die with the car. <laughs> Bob, <laughs> is he killing himself? <laughs> what the heck? I have never seen that. Oh my gosh, Bob. He's dead, guys. He actually died with that. <laughs> but he's still moving, though. Oh no, he's not dead. This guy is dead. Okay, so Bob is just standing there now. <laughs> with his mouth open. What the heck is wrong with you? All right, Bob, goodbye. Anyways, let's get out of here now. This is like the most CPU intensive area in my benchmark run, at least. Um, and of course we got the 5900X, so it's no problem, but something like a, a Ryzen 5, I can't get out of here, guys. I'm stuck. Get out of the car. Okay. Um, this is terrible. This is terrible. A Ryzen 5 3600 will also get you around the same FPS. <laughs> I am definitely gonna die now. God damn it. No, I really don't want to. I really don't want to die. I am healing myself right now. There could be like a car or something in this parking lot. Why is there no car? <laughs> oh man. Okay, just running around. This is obviously not as intensive inside. We gotta move away from here. And there are a ton of them enemies there. Oh boy. Wait, gotta throw a grenade there. A couple of them actually. Are those flashbangs, actually? I think so, yes. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, my. This is terrible. This is the worst benchmark in Cyberbug that I've done. At least we saw um, Bob suffering a lot, so <laughs> there's that. Come on, run! Can't you run while reloading the gun, please? Yo, let's go. I see a car. I see a car. No! All right, Fidelity FX Super Resolution set to ultra quality, and this is FSR 1.0. I can't wait for them to implement FSR 2.0 into the game. That's going to be incredible, probably, because it looks so much better than 1.0. But that said, on the 1080p monitor, I've seen that FSR 1.0 actually looks pretty damn good. And as you can see, now we are well above 60 frames per second, where we were getting like uh, 50 something, like mid 50s around here, right? This is pretty impressive technology indeed. And it's great that these GPUs actually support it. They don't really support F uh, DLSS, unfortunately, but hey, AMD has got our backs, <laughs> all right? And there's Bob again. Bob, please. Oh, he's running away already. I'm probably, it's, it's a bad idea to kill Bob right now because well, look at him saying, save me. All right. <laughs> The police are gonna come after us. Here is also another very intensive area, 64 FPS there. Yeah, basically it's flawless right now. It's always above 60. You're gonna have 
a super smooth and gorgeous experience like this. Now we're retesting Red Dead Redemption 2 at 1080p using the hardware unboxed optimized settings for the best visuals to performance ratio basically, this is it. Oh boy, every time I launch this game and I look at its graphics it's just so gorgeous guys so beautiful and it runs extremely well using these settings as you can see I'm gonna start counting our frames it's actually dropping into the 60s right now which is interesting i thought it was gonna get a little bit more fps but this is actually an intensive area for the gpu to render because we got a ton of vegetation around us and basically forest areas are usually intensive in games but this game of roach 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 come on <laughs> this game isn't really the newest but it's still super super intensive and look at those averages guys it couldn't be more perfect <laughs> let's go let's get out of here now let's go to the saint denis area and see our fps there no, c c roach roach why all right saint denis area there is a more intensive area than this a more intensive city you know but i haven't really gotten there yet so it could possibly drop the fps a little bit from 60 at times if you go there but you know it's not really a big deal it's a single player title so uh, even 60 fps locked is not really a must have in a game like red dead redemption 2 and i think if you're playing this game you're gonna have a wonderful experience with something like a 1660 ti for sure oh, there he is there's bob tucking away his trumpet but i saw you bob you are gonna die with roach roach is the one who killed him by the way the police are after me why it's it was roach no, I'm, I'm just looking to die right now, honestly. And sometimes when I really want to survive, they just don't come at me. Now I, I don't even see the police. <laughs> There's only one at a time. It's weird. Let's go. Goodbye, sir. Thank you very much for coming. And there are a ton of them now. We're, we're definitely gonna die. But hey, it's, even with all of this happening around us, tons of NPCs attacking us, it is still pretty damn good. Pretty smooth indeed. Okay. Okay, buddy. All right. <laughs> Break for Oh no, we died. We died from that. And now it's Call of Duty Warzone at the 1080p resolution using the high settings with normal textures because high textures actually require a little bit more VRAM, as you can see. So it's getting pretty all right FPS. I would love to see like FSR implemented in this game. That way we could possibly get 100 FPS. But well, it is not here. It only supports DLSS. So the RTX stuff is probably the way to go in this game. Uh, if you want some upscaling, of course. But hey, that's not to say that this is a bad experience. Like, wh why does this rock look so bad, by the way? Like, these two rocks are terrible looking. Uh, these are actually decent. What the heck? <laughs> Dropping into the 70s at times, but so far so good. If you want a higher refresh rate experience, obviously all you need to do is play on low settings and you're probably gonna get like 110 FPS average. Not that much more than what we're getting right now, so I actually prefer to play on high. I mean, if you are just a casual player and you just want to have a bit of fun and you have the hardware for it, why not play with pretty graphics, right? That's just me, I don't know. Okay, there's a guy there. I'm gonna try to get him. Probably heard us already. Oh boy, what am I even doing? <laughs> Let's get out of here now. Let's see if I can spot him. Is he actually dropping stuff as he walks? Because I am seeing a lot of things here. Drops in the middle of nowhere. Like, is this supposed to be here? Probably, actually. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, 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 there he is. There he is. You. Ah! <laughs> Alright, at least now we're dropping in the capital area and you can see all of the city at once getting close to 60 FPS, but it is actually not dropping. So if it doesn't drop here, I don't think it will ever drop from 60 in this game, which is pretty great for something like a, a 1660 Ti, honestly. What is happening? What the heck? Oh boy. Okay, so I know that there is somebody camping around this place. Trying to spot them. Wait, whoa, there he is! Ah, oh, so annoying. Look at this guy playing the game. What the hell? He just is sitting in a bathtub. He's sitting in a freaking bathtub. Oh, he left. He has, I did something. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I downed him. All right. Also, have you paid attention to that frame time graph, guys? Because it is so buttery smooth. It does not move. 
And now it's Far Cry 6 at 1080p using the high settings preset with no FSR. No need to apply it here in this one because it already runs perfectly basically at 1080p native resolution. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. Let's explode a few things, see some effects here and there and fight these damn bastards, shall we? There we go, 80 FPS. Doesn't seem to drop it, the FPS whenever you see some explosions and smoke effects in this game. Oh, we, we got Roach here? I had no idea that we got Roach in this game. I actually I actually remember it now, guys. Oh my god, it's so hard to control the, the horses in this game. Especially because the FOV is like 3 or 4 <laughs> whenever you're riding horses. Like, look at this. It is totally ridiculously small that's what she said no it's not it's definitely not what she said okay <laughs> see the fps inside of the fire not a problem and we died <laughs> yeah this is this, uh, i am i am confused stop stop get out of the horse it's nauseating actually <laughs> i think this is not really our camp but uh, hey, we're still seeing a ton of vegetation around us and it is pretty intensive and it doesn't really drop, guys. You're definitely gonna have a great experience. Hello, buddy. <laughs> In Far Cry 6, for sure. Like, it's amazing. And now we got God of War at original settings and you guessed it, 1080p resolution. I'm not using FSR 2.0 because at 1080p in this game it doesn't look all that good. Uh, if you're playing at 1440p I will recommend you to use that option because it looks really really good but at 1080 it's it's like really noisy for some reason. So as you can see at original settings we're comfortably getting 60 plus FPS at all times basically but on high settings I think tested it for a little bit and I was getting 55 to 60 around here so it's way way more intensive and I will actually recommend the original settings because honestly guys it just looks amazing like this and it performs amazingly well as well so there's that once again we're getting 69 1% lows like what the hell is it with this number and my videos I don't understand <laughs> Is the 1660 Ti the perfect graphics card? All right, now we're gonna have a pretty intensive cutscene, which will definitely drop our rooms to the lows. Yep, there we go, 61. Wow, it's really, really damn intensive. Oh my gosh, it's actually dropping into the 50s now. But it's only a cutscene, so it should be fine, right? During the gameplay, it doesn't really drop all that much. Yeah, this is still pretty good, especially if you have a 1080p monitor. It's gonna look crisp and detailed and... Uh, it is actually really nice. Okay, I want to see this now. All right, there we go. Some action going on right here. Nice, good job. And uh, yeah, it's not really dropping even during fights, so it, it's gonna be fine, guys. Now we're playing Broken Field 2042, 1080p using medium settings preset, and that's it. Let's drop down there. Oh my God, what is happening? <laughs> Here we go. What the actual hell? There's one there. Got him. People, why aren't you killing anybody? Please. Come on, I need your help. Thank you very much. This guy is actually a good medic. So this game stutters a little bit and it's, it's, the performance is very lackluster, especially compared to older Battlefield games. Compared to Battlefield 5, you could actually play that game at 1440p Ultra settings, I believe. Even with the 1660 Ti with above 60 FPS. If not, on high settings, you could definitely do that for sure. So it's probably gonna go down there, right? So if I shoot right now... <gasps> oh, I actually hit it, guys! I actually hit it, but it didn't explode. What the hell? Oh my gosh. I, I thought I wasn't going to hit it. Imagine if it exploded. It would be one of the best kills that I've ever made here in this game. Just but well, it didn't explode. Why didn't it explode, guys? All right, you know what? You know, it's now. It is now. Not yet. Not yet, apparently. All right. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. No, what? I shot this? Come on, bro. Seriously? All right, we're gonna hit it now. Maybe? Nope. Okay, never mind. Oh, where are we going? <laughs> I need to go back there. Uh, wait a second. Maybe if we go here. Okay, yes, yes, yes. It works. It actually works. Battlefield 2042 works in this game. Surpri uh, in this GPU, surprisingly, not in this game. Uh, right. I saw another one around there. Yeah, there he is. What? 
Please shoot the guy. Please hit him. Come on. All right, I got him, but we got killed. Yes, this is exactly where I wanted to be. All right, we hit it again, guys. Let's go. It's now... Oh, come on. Somebody stole my kill. Ah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There's another one down. Yeah, it's super stable. It doesn't really drop all that much from 60 FPS. If it does, it's slightly only. At 1080p high settings, it would definitely drop. So I don't really recommend that. Oh my god, there are tons of them there. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, how did the... How the frick did I miss that? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, come on, dude. <laughs> I hit the other two shots previously and not these. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna give up now. You can kill me, buddy. And now it's Elden Ring at 1080p using the high settings priest. Can I just... You know what's weird about these menus? I'm sorry about the little rant here before we get into it, but if you are slightly above the middle of this uh, rectangle here, it switches to the one on top. It's so weird. I always misclick things because of that. Anyways, high settings, as you can see, with no motion blur. Let's get out of here. Oh boy, GP utilization is going up there, so we might actually see it drop from 60 sometimes. Don't, don't you, don't you do that. Okay, thank you very much. This is the bad boy. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is pretty hard to kill this one, so I'm not gonna try it. Otherwise, we will be in for a streak of deaths in this video and I, I don't want to do that okay i just really don't feel like it <laughs> however we need to see that dragon fire because that's super gpu intensive and it will probably drop our fps from 60 actually so let's do that at least roach isn't scared of him take this up your ass come on there we go oh boy all right for, for a second i thought that that health that was at the middle um, it was the, the dragon's health, and I was wondering what happened. Maybe his weak uh, spot was the ass, but no, it, it was Roach's health. So he's almost dying, guys. One more hit in Roach, and he's dead. Also, oh, no, oh! Yeah, I'm almost dead as well, Jesus. I will never kill this dragon, right, guys? <laughs> I, I believe you, you understand that I am completely terrible at Elden Ring. This is the closest that I've been to killing the dragon. We're, we're actually doing okay, you know. Just gonna uh, drink uh, the potions again. Thank you. I just need Roach not to die. That's all that I need. Please come and hit the dragon as well. That helps sometimes. <laughs> we might be able to do this if the dragon doesn't become uh, an entire different beast whenever he's low HP, you know. <laughs> because sometimes that, that can happen in some games, I think. All right, there you go. Come on. Let's uh, run away now. Oh, actually, he does change his attacks, so maybe we're gonna be screwed in just a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, so far, so good. It seems like it is smooth, it is playable. Um, it doesn't really drop all that much from 60 FPS, even in intensive... Sin Assassin's Creed Valhalla is next, 1080p, 100% resolution scaling using the high settings without motion blur and depth of field. That's the only thing that I touched here. And it's not that impressive in this game, guys. It does drop from 60 FPS, but once again, this is a single player title, so it's not really the end of the world if you get like... 50s and 40s at times. I think it still provides a pretty good gameplay experience here in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Also keep in mind that the anti-aliasing was on high and if you drop it a little bit to medium settings you can actually have 60 plus most of the time. That's a really intensive setting and in this game although the 1% lows are pretty low there it's just because of some frame time variation which doesn't really happen that often whenever you're playing the game and it's not really that noticeable either. Stutter Knight is next, 1080p, high settings preset with 3D resolution set to 100%, DirectX 12 API as well, no ray tracing by the way, <laughs> of course, this actually supports ray tracing in some games by the way, but um, it's
it's it's definitely not advisable <laughs> to use it. Seems like at 1080p high, this GPU is putting on a little bit of a show. It's pretty damn smooth, aside from the stutters, but those are always there. Oh my gosh, actually, never mind. It isn't smooth if it has stuttering issues, and this game has stuttering issues. And although the FPS are actually pretty high, and this is pretty nice. <laughs> oh my god! We, we died instantly. That was terrible. Is that a guy? I'm not sure. I think it is. Maybe. Yep. Okay. All right. I only have a shotgun here. I can barely see him. Where the heck is he? Middle of... Okay. okay, okay, okay. We can do this, guys. We, right? we can... Yes, yes, yes. What is this? What? What? What's this? Oh! I planted something. But what does it do? I am so confused. Oh, I see enemies there. One down. Come on. Come on, I see Jack there at the left as well. Come on, oh boy, he's probably gonna die, right? I'm not sure. Yes, he is definitely gonna die with me. Now let's try to, there's another one there. What the, come on, come on, buddy, y you got, Jack, don't you dare, Jack. I don't have enough bullets for you and the other guys. Oh, seriously, come on. So there's one there still, okay. And the other one is there. All right, I spotted both of them. We should be able to do this. Please fight the other one. Come on. God damn it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Why did I choose that guy? There's one. Whoa. Come on. All right, we got this. We got this. I believe they killed each other. Well, one of them killed the other one, so... Oh, this is not accurate. This is not accurate whatsoever. Damn it. We're gonna die now. No. Wait. Wait. Come on, come on. No, no, not from behind. Oh, come on. And last game is Dying Light 2 at 1080p using the high quality graphics preset here. Oh, I thought it was gonna be better than this, honestly. All right, it's getting 40s and this is not real. Well, honestly, this game doesn't really vary that much in performance depending on where you are. Even looking at the entire city, it doesn't really drop that much. Um. 40s, well, 40s is okay for a single player title, but since this is like a first person shooter, well, not shooter, but parkour game in first person, you usually want the FPS to be above 60, so the motion feels natural, and this, well, this is just isn't it. At least it's very stable, though. The, the frame time doesn't really move all that much. I mean, so far it's been flawless, honestly. Um, so that's great to see, because this game used to suffer from a lot of stuttering issues. But I, I expected better. I thought we'd see like 60 on average with a few drops here and there, but in the 40s, guys. This game is super intensive, though, so yeah, maybe I should have seen it coming. Oh, what the hell? How did I get up here? Okay, I just restarted the game and I'm up here. This is exactly what I wanted to be, by the way, because it looks so much greener that it's actually amazing for screenshots and stuff. Uh, maybe it's gonna be our background of the thumbnail, I don't even know. But uh, hey, as you can see, it still drops from 60 FPS on medium settings. Very underwhelming results, actually. Well, you do have FSR in this game, by the way. So if you must have 60 plus all of the time, just enable that setting. I think it looks... A little bit too over-sharpened with FSR, but maybe I'd utilize it in this one just because, well, you, you can't really get 60 FPS without it. Unless you play on low settings, obviously that's gonna get more than 60 all of the time. But, you know, 60 and 60, I, I think I would aim for more than low settings, honestly. Medium looks pretty much the same as high, by the way, so maybe this is the way to go. Add some FSR for it to be above 60 and it's gonna be fine. And that's been it for the GTX 1660 Ti in 2022. Honestly, it can still play everything just fine. Even if you throw at it a broken game like Broken Field 2042, it can still handle it on medium settings above 60 FPS pretty much at all times so that's extremely impressive actually i bought this thing for 270 euros back when it released in 2019 and it still holds up really well today i think for 180 to 200 bucks these days it's actually worth it but i think it will drop in price in a few months so if you can wait a little bit longer do that but i gotta say that i expected less coming from the 1660 ti I'll catch you guys in the next one very soon. And as always, love you all. Bye-bye.